I'm Ben from BenBoutique.com, and today we'll be talking about the Fisher Space Pen 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission and first moon landing special edition. Um, here we have the uh, outer box. As you can see, they have a classic shot of uh, first steps on the moon. Um, on the back, there's some information about Apollo 11, and uh, on the sides, there are, uh, you know, classic. Uh, Fisher Space Pen taglines, uh, used on all manned space flights, which they say because it's been on every NASA manned space flight since Apollo 7. And uh, on the far side, uh, writes at any angle, even upside down, uh, which refers to the fact that cartridges are pressurized to write upside down without gravity uh, or in space. Um, inside this outer box, here we can see we have the display or gift box. Uh, this is pretty standard for any of the uh, Fisher Space Pens that are, you know, this similar level of limited edition or special edition. Um, opens like so. And inside, we can see we have a uh, pamphlet that has some information about the uh, history of the Fisher Space Pen and its connection to the uh, Apollo missions, and obviously the pen. The pen itself is made from solid brass with a hard chrome plating, and uh, the thing that you know, makes this a special edition is the engraving uh, with a you know tributes to the uh, Apollo 11 mission. So here you can obviously see it says Apollo 11 with the second O in Apollo being replaced with the button used to retract the tip of the pen. And uh, other engravings, we have, uh, you know, man's first moon landing, July 20th, 1969, special edition, in case you forgot which pen you were holding, or when the first moon landing happened. And my favorite of the engravings, there's a tiny image of the uh, control and service module from the Apollo missions. Uh, that housed the astronauts when they crossed the translunar gulf and uh, up until Apollo 11 the whole Apollo mission would happen inside of this command module and uh, during Apollo 11 um, Collins stayed up in the command module ready to dock with Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong after they had returned from the surface of the moon um, Finally, here's in smaller print, uh, 50th anniversary, referring to the fact that it's 50 years since the first moon landing. Uh, the cartridge is obviously a Fisher Space Pen pressurized cartridge. Uh, the form factor is PR, uh, like all of the fish, or m almost all of the Fisher Space Pens. Um, The cartridge is, of course, a Fisher Space Pen pressurized cartridge. Uh, the form factor that they... The form factor is a uh, PR cartridge, as is standard in most of Fisher Space Pen's pens. Um, the Fisher Space Pen cartridge is kind of the entire story of the Fisher Space Pen, because the whole purpose to develop a Fisher space pen was you needed something that could write in space. Typical ballpoint pens weren't appropriate because they outgassed and created noxious fumes when exposed to low pressure environments like they had inside the command module. And a pencil wouldn't work because loose particles of graphite and broken tips would float around in zero G and present a hazard to astronauts and the sensitive equipment keeping them alive. The Fisher Space Pen was developed by Paul C. Fisher, uh, proprietor of the Fisher Pen Company, to uh, address this need for the Apollo program. And um, the real change that he made in order to create a suitable for space ballpoint pen was to uh, add pressurized nitrogen in the back of the cartridge behind a uh, rolling stop that would maintain force behind the ink, pushing it out even when in zero G, there was nothing keeping the ink 
flowing downwards. Uh, this means that functionally, on Earth, you can write with a Fisher space pen upside down. And happens to also mean you can also write with one underwater, through grease, and uh, in extreme temperatures from negative 30 Fahrenheit to 250 Fahrenheit. Uh, for friend, our friends from countries that don't have a flag on the moon, that's negative 34 Celsius to 121 Celsius. The form factor of this limited edition is the AG7, which is short for anti-gravity 7, and this is actually the original uh, design of the Fisher space pen as it went to the moon. Uh, so the original patented Fisher space pen looked virtually exactly like this. Uh, there's possibly, on some examples that have went to space, uh, ridges in this area to improve grip, although that does not seem to be a consistent feature of the AG7. Um, this design is the one still used by astronauts today. Um, and not only is it used by astronauts, it's also on all Russian Soyuz and the MIR space flights. Uh, all the space flights from the French space program. And uh, on every North Face Everest expedition, which is an expedition up Everest up the especially treacherous northern face. If you have any questions about this or anything else remotely pen related, uh, feel free to reach out to us at uh, our phone number 410-992-3272 or uh, visit us on our website penboutique.com where uh, you can chat with us during normal business hours. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.